Hey guys, Jody here from Food Storage Made Easy. I'm going live tonight. It is day two of our uh, 15 minute prepping projects uh, activity that we're doing this month. So we're gonna do a 15 minute project every single day for 30 days to celebrate National Preparedness Month. Today's task was to grind some wheat. Now that could be, if you don't do wheat, you can do other grains. Um, if you don't have a grinder, then you can, there's some things we talked about to be able to still use your wheat. So I'm going to show you the three main things I talked about today. Uh, we're going to try them out. Sometimes it is awesome to be able to see it in person to kind of get over that hump of being afraid of trying it. So if you have not opened up a wheat grinder that's in your basement, today would be a good day to do it. So I'm going to show you the three things. We'll be real quick. So first, um, I'm going to start with my electric grinder. So I use Wonder Mill. And I like this for uh, practicing baking bread and using my wheat on a regular basis because if you have to hand grind it, it takes so long that uh, you don't use it as much. So I love having an electric grinder on hand because it makes me use whole grains in a lot more of my cooking. So I'm going to show you how this one works. Basically, you have the container. Move it in front a little bit. So you put the grains in here and the flour comes out here. So I'll show you real quick. It is a little noisy, so sorry about that. So you want to turn it on first. It used to be called the whisper mill, but none of them are going to be super quiet. So I like this. You can grind it as fine or as coarse as you want. There is a bread setting, um, but if you're doing like pastries, you can do a really, really fine flour. And then you just open it up. And you have some flour. It's amazing. Okay, so easy peasy. I like that one. Now, if we always get asked, what if there is an emergency and you don't have any power and you want to use your wheat? So, this is the new Wonder Junior Deluxe. I just opened it. I posted a video earlier of me unboxing it. So, I've had one of the older ones for a long time, but since I sell these on my online store, I wanted to have the new one so I could be able to showcase it and know what it is exactly that I'm selling and what the benefits are of the new one. So, I unboxed it. I set it up. We got it here, ready to go. And... I'm going to show you how a hand crank works. So I'm going to pour a little bit of wheat in the hopper. I have these stone uh, plates on there. If you want to do oily things like nuts and seeds, you can make homemade peanut butters and stuff with this, but you would want to use the steel burrs. Um, so you grind it clockwise. You can see, you can see the flour. Maybe you can see it like that. Right, it just pours out there. And again, you can make finer or coarser grain. This is probably about a medium right here. It would be fine for bread. Um, wasn't obviously as fast as the electric grinder so that's one downside but if you have a lot of kids like me then in an emergency oh, now my head's gonna be chopped off in an emergency you could definitely make that work for grinding bread grinding wheat to make bread and then the last thing I'm going to show you this is actually an experiment because I have made so you can grind wheat in a high-powered blender. So you could use a Vitamix or a Blendtec, and it will grind it into a powder. I did a post once doing pizza dough in the Blendtec. It was cool. But um, if you have just like a regular blender, it won't be able to grind it to as fine of a flour. So you can make blender wheat pancakes. So you mix the water or milk and the wheat and grind it up and then add everything else, and it makes a, a pancake batter. So by having the liquid in there with the um, wheat, somehow it is able to grind it fine enough to be a flour. But I wanted to try doing a meal in a jar for a pancake or waffle, whatever mix. It has fruit in it. 
and then all the powdered stuff at the bottom and I'm adding it to water and I just kind of wanted to test it out and see if it works. So it's an experiment, a live experiment. If it doesn't work, I gotta go back to the drawing board and probably just package the wheat separately so you can put in the wheat with the liquid, but I'm all about easy. So if I can do it all in one, then that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna pour it all in. So it has freeze dried fruit, apples, bananas. It's gonna be like a fruity pancake mix. And then I have the wheat. And then I've got baking powder, a little bit of salt, and powdered milk and powdered butter. So there's no oil in this recipe. Quite a bit of egg. I don't know. It might be too solid for this to actually grind. I'm going to get a live experiment here. Oh, there it is. Okay, you guys. Here we go. I'm going to do the batter setting on this. I won't do it the whole way because it's going to be loud and annoying for you to watch, but... Let's see if it works. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I wonder if I should stir it. We're going for it. Let's see. another time or two but that's a pancake batter it ground that wheat into flour mixed the rest of the recipe up all in one go that's pretty freaking awesome if you ask me it smells good we'll have to see if these make actually good pancakes I had to like modify and combine a couple recipes to make it work but um, so yeah and if you want to get this recipe in your email it's gonna go out as my meal in a jar email um, in my email in our meal in a jar email that'll go out today or tomorrow hopefully so i'll put a link in the comments for how to sign up for that if you're not on that list already and then you'll get the recipe for that meal um then so i'm gonna run this a couple times i'm gonna try to cook up some pancakes see if they work and i'll post a picture in the comments thanks if you're watching live and feel free to comment below if you have any questions if you're watching the replay okay we'll talk to you guys soon and hopefully you ground some wheat today and if not then we'll catch you tomorrow for next day's challenge. Yay!